everybody, welcome to Susan's Craft Cabin for another tutorial on lampshade making. Today we're going to do something a little different because lots of people have asked me to show them how to make a lampshade that doesn't require any sewing. So, so to make this shade and to make this cost effectively as possible, I've done some searching around in charity shops. So I bought the shade for £2.50. I managed to find some lovely William Morris fabric pieces, just bits and pieces. I think they cost me 50p or a pound. I found this wonderful vintage trim, which cost next to nothing because nobody wants to use it anymore, even though it's absolutely beautiful. And I also found some braid. So in all, this lampshade will probably have cost me less than five pounds to make, um, which is really cost effective. So if you want to make a Victorian style or vintage style lampshade very cost effectively and very quickly, this is the way to do it. The first thing we're going to do is to make a pattern. And because we're not going to remove this out of fabric, we can't do it the way I have taught you in other videos. So we're going to take a piece of paper and just press it against the frame onto one panel. So we get the lines of the panel pressed into the paper. That will give us the pattern. Then we're going to just cut that out. So there you have your pattern and it fits well over the shade. The other thing I did was in the charity shops I looked for pieces and remnants of fabric and I found some lovely William Morris Pimpernel fabric which I thought would do quite nicely and the beauty of making a lampshade like this is that we don't need to cut it on the bias we can just cut out the pieces that we require and we're going to need for this one two three four five six eight panels worth so we need eight pieces and I'm going to cut those out now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue all the way down each panel either side and along the top and the bottom and then I'm going to glue these pieces on. You can cut your cut pattern pieces out a little bit bigger if you wish than the pattern which will give you a little bit of, of um, flexibility as far as the, the shade goes. Right so here we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to be able to have enough glue on there to pull everything tight and into position. Smooth it down, pulling it into place. And then we're going to put, do the same with the next panel and the next panel and so on. I've now covered the frame with all the panel pieces and I'm just going to trim off all the excess fabric, just to neaten off the edges. Around the top, the sides, wherever you've got any overlap fabric there, just going to trim that off, just to neaten it up. All of these bits are going to be covered up anyway with the braid. And then we'll go around the bottom and do the same around the bottom, all these little pieces that need to be trimmed off. There we are. So a good thing to do with these lampshades is to put braid around the bottom. It just neatens it off. You don't have to do this 
but I like to do this with all my shades. So you just clue around the bottom, on the bottom bit there, and attach your braid all the way around just to neaten off that bottom edge like so and do that all the way around. Having done that I just think it gives a more professional finish and it's a neater edge. Now we're going to use the braid in the same way down all the struts. That's to cover the seams there like that. So again use your glue gun down the seam line, down the wire vertical Take your braid, or you can use ribbon, whatever you like, and trim it with whatever trims you like. And that just finishes that edge beautifully. You do that all the way round. This is all vintage braid. So vintage braid, vintage fabric, vintage frame, and vintage trim. So I've put the braid down all the panels and I put a little bit around the top just to neaten off the raw edge. And now I'm going to use my vintage braid, I'm going to, uh, fringing rather, I'm going to put it along the top and along the bottom. So I'll attach it again with the glue. If I lift it up just a little bit, it gives a sort of a, a crown effect. Very pretty. And now I'm going to do the same along the bottom. The easiest way to attach your fringing is to put your shade onto a stand and then work this from you know from below upwards it's much easier so put some glue on and then you simply put your fringing into position and you do that all the way around. So there we have a beautiful little Victorian lampshade made from remnants and old lampshade frame and vintage trims. It's brand new and will last for many more years and you didn't have to use a sewing machine or a needle. So thank you again for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel I'd really love that. I'm looking forward to making more videos for you. And in the meantime, happy making. Thank you.